Okay, so that little motor right there, the yellow cord goes on to, is driven by this little area. And that just blew those fuses. So I got new fuses in there and it's not working. So we are gonna open the motor up and take a look. We just had a pretty good rain last night. So I was expecting water somehow got in this box and shorted it out. Well, when I took the cover off, I was quite surprised at how nice it was, but I think that was mostly due to that nice rubber gasket that was on that lid. So I'm poking around. I don't see no moisture in there, no burn wires, nothing. Um, Nothing in the box here that shows that this is where the problem came from. So I'm gonna put the lid back on. Get that thing tightened back down. So now I'm gonna go right to the fan or the uh, shaft, the motor shaft, and to see if how that's um, seized up or not. So I pull the snap ring off, take the fan off, and there's a little key in a shaft. And what's a really cool uh, trick is you take a crescent wrench on that round shaft and you try to use that to turn it, you won't screw the shaft up because as it comes around, it grabs the key. Now that is a very good tip for people that have to deal with uh, round shafts and a key in there because otherwise it's a pipe wrench or a channel lock and then you screw the shaft all up. So I determined the motor was not seized up, but there was some rust going on in the electric brake. So when you turn the motor on, it creates a magnetic field and that pulls the coil which releases the brake and allows the motor to run. When you shut the motor off there's a spring that engages a brake to keep the motor or the the gear from creeping or like running away on you because of a force whatever the motor is doing. So the brake gets rusty sometimes and it, it does not release when you turn the motor on. So I put WD-40 on there to kind of get all the rust out and free it up. And I've had to do this before, and uh, that usually fixes the problem. But this time, it blew a couple of fuses because it was trying too long before we figured out there was a problem. So once I get it all freed up, then I can start putting everything back together. So now I want to just stick the fan on there so I can go back over to, to the control box to see if it's running. I have, the fan is just so I can see a shaft spin. So push the fan back on there, jump over the conveyor belt, go over to the control box, and I turn the power on, and look at that. It works. Awesome. Now I put the snap ring back on for real, so this is going to be on, you know, permanently. And then we put the cover on to protect the fan. And that's pretty much putting it all back together. It was an easy fix. Turn that. Move 